Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do your general reading for you. I hope you're having an awesome day or starting your day off right. All right, let's go ahead and see what your what signs you might be dealing with. Let's start by rolling the zodiac die. All right, you came up with Sagittarius strong and Leo strong. Capricorn, Libra, there you are. Whoop, whoop. Scorpio and Virgo. All right, your overall energy, the world card. Beautiful. Nine of Wands. The Three of Wands. The Eight of Coins or Pentacles. The Three of Coins or Pentacles. Five of Coins. Nine of Coins. Look at all this money in the middle of this spread. Page of Coins and the Empress <laughs> card. Oh my goodness, you couldn't ask to have a better card to finish that with. Look at this. Before you came in to start listening or watching this message, you were in a Queen of Wands energy. You were feeling, oh, you made a decision to end something so that you could have peace you decided to focus on you, take care of you, because you are worth taking care of. You are, oh, yeah. Ugh. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. Okay, it was something um, to do with a home life. It could have been anything. It could have been siblings. I'm not specifically getting um, a romantic partner, but it could be, okay? Whatever it was, you decided to focus on you, remind yourself of how unique you are, how important you are to you and to other people around you. Spirit is saying you closed out an important cycle um, by having, by taking this action, by doing what you did, by choosing to focus on yourself. This is something you may have been working on for quite a while and never literally, you never gave up on yourself with a nine of wands over the three of wands because the only future that you would ever have anything to do with is your own future. And you never gave up on yourself and what you wanted out of life. Beautiful. You may have put things on pause for a little while, but you never gave up. And here you are, you are definitely putting the effort in to be more harmonious, to work better with other people. Um, create a team. I am hearing that you are building a team or about to start working with new people. You're leaving some sort of... Um, okay, so that's the eight of coins over the three of coins. There's a stability here, too. Something that's going to... You're, you're willing to put the effort in on this to make things work out. I'm hearing, though, that you're going to have to leave something out in the cold, the five of coins. Like, that ship has sailed. It's, it's gone. It's going down. You're letting it go. And the five of coins is over the nine of coins, which is a card of freedom, of independence, release. Having enough to take care of yourself, stability, enough to take care of yourself and other people, okay? Now, this really could have something to do with how you deal with money. It could also have to do with a new job, a new career, a new focus for how you relate to money and make money, earn money, spend money. I am hearing you're in a beginner's mode with this page of cup or page of coins over this empress energy. Like you know who you are, what, that you have a lot to be grateful for, but you're also looking at things with a very um, a new perspective, an innocent view. Um, like in the past, you may have said things like if somebody said to you, "Hey, did you know blah blah blah?" and you'd be like, "Yeah, of course I did." But maybe you really didn't. Or maybe you thought you did, but you found out later that you really didn't know as much as you thought you did about that particular thing. Okay? Um, but So now when somebody makes that type of statement to you, you do take a second. You pause and you think about that. 
I'm also hearing here, somebody's about to ask you out to do something. It's going to be small. It's going to be small. Okay, it's going to be like, let's go have coffee. Hey, you want to go for a walk in the park? Hey, you want to go hang out on the beach? You want to go play Frisbee? You want to go golfing? Um, it, it's going to be like a casual thing, okay? I think it means more to this person than they're letting on. Maybe they, they just want to, like, test the water, start off small, um, see where things lead. But I, I get that they really admire you. That they think you've got everything all together, you are you understand how the world works, you're confident, you're capable, um, you're secure, you really don't need other people to tell you what to do or anything like that. They see you as more than capable. They also, if this is a love interest, they already have feelings that you could be the one for them that they would want to have children with. Now, I, I realize... That's only for a few of you, but it is there. Those feelings are there. Now, if this is, um, so that's, that's what came out with that. Okay, let's go ahead and start clarifying here. Let's see what the nine of wands means for you, you guys. I hope that you're all having a beautiful, beautiful day. It's gorgeous here in Gulf Coast, Florida. I just heard uh, Robin Williams saying, Hello, Vietnam! However he said it from that movie. All right, Nine of Wands. There was a message in there for somebody. Nine of Wands here, please, Spirit. Two more shuffles, please. Oh, we're loosening up the cards. I hear. I hear you. I didn't pre-shuffle those. King of Pentacles, clarifying the Nine of Wands. You have found your stability. You've never given up on yourself or how you were going to make money. That you were going to be stable. Yeah, this is all about you focusing on your future. You never gave up. You always kind of had a, a, um, a feeling in the pit of your stomach that you knew that you would, you would have money someday. That you would be a success. You never gave up on yourself. Good for you. Looks like you are stepping up into some sort of um, role with responsibilities um, where people may turn to you for, for support, for information, um, for guidance. You may be leading people. So if you're, if you're starting a new career, this may be you as a supervisor, boss, um, team leader, something like that. I do see you working together with other people. So you are taking on more responsibility than you've had. And you're welcoming it. You're welcoming that challenge. You like the idea of this. Because the whatever this is, I feel like there is a, um, like a, I'm getting that you're a problem solver, which I think a lot of Libras are. But in particular, you really like to find solutions. You might call yourself a problem solver, okay? Anyways, that's coming through. Let's see what the Three of Wands means for you. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. Your future looks very, very bright. That's what you're seeking, and that's what you're going to have happen because you know how to focus now. You know what you have to do in order to create this beautiful future for yourself. Ten of Cups clarifying the Three of Wands. That is awesome. All right, let's look at the Eight of Coins here. Eight of Coins is Eight of Pentacles, in case someone does not know that. You may be new here, and if you are, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and you come back in the future. If you're one of my awesome returning viewers, you know I love you to pieces. Either way, I'm glad that each and every one of you is here with me today. Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate you. I love you guys, too. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Eight of coins. And you've got the... is being clarified by the nine... Oh, no. Let's... That's my rewind. The eight of coins is being clarified by the knight of wands 
in the world card. And I'm hearing here that some sort of inconsistency in the past, okay? This knight is facing the past, is being released. You're ending a cycle. So now you've got conviction with the eight of coins. You're ready to commit. Maybe in the past you kind of started something and then fell out for whatever reason. I was like that because of competition. I really did not like to compete against the people that were supposed to be lifting me up. Okay, so a lot of times I would start something in the hope that that would change, that it would be my thing. Um, it looks like you're, you're closing that cycle out. So whatever type of inconsistency around money, maybe you were waffling between the belief that you deserved money and that you didn't deserve money, that there's more than enough and yet you felt the pinch. Okay, so whatever inconsistency was there, you're closing that cycle. You're putting in the effort now. You see things. You see there's money. You're moving on. Um, yeah, this is much more calm, more peaceful, more enjoyable, I'm hearing. Um, I'm also hearing you may be able to travel in the near future because you have a different relationship with money. You've got a new focus with a page of wands there. Yeah, and a fresh start, a fresh start, seeing the world in a much more carefree manner. It's the best way to go. It's the only way to go. <laughs> All right, let's look at the three of coins here. What does this mean for you? By the way, this is the world card twice here, okay? And you've got the world card twice and the ten of cups already with the empress card here. Oh, my gosh. Financial freedom here with the nine of pentacles. We're going to put that back. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clarify this three of coins, please. Let's clarify the three of coins for my lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. Sorry, I had to stop to scratch my nose. Man, that saying keeps coming back. When you have when your nose itches, you're gonna kiss a fool. I just kissed myself because there's nobody else around. <laughs> There's not even a cat. Foolish cat to kiss. All right. Three of coins. <laughs> Look at this. You just got the six of swords again. I mean, we just saw that. Yeah, you're working. You're moving into a better work environment. Definitely. You're moving out of the chaos. Out of a stressful career or a stressful situation around money. You're moving away from that. Beautiful. Working with others, though, there is something here about traveling for this for this job for some of you, okay? For just a small group of you, maybe, but there is traveling, all right? This is definitely going to be something that makes you feel creative, thinking outside the box, using your imagination. I do hear that you will be leaving someone or something behind that you feel a little sad, you know, like apologetic about, but don't, I mean, don't go too overboard with that apology stuff. That No, you're doing the right thing for you. That's what you have to do. No regrets. Focus on your future. Come on. You can't make that any more clear. Page of Cups, make your apology. Move past the regrets with a Five of Cups and focus on your future. Three of Wands. That is Spirit telling you to whatever it is, you have to just put it, let it go. It's, what do they say? It's, it's did done... Dead? Did done dead? Where did I hear that from? That's probably from a movie or a TV show or something. Somebody want to clue me in on where that came from? Did done dead? I don't even know. I mean, it's not ringing any bells with me. All right, let's see what this five of coins is for you guys. It's all about you. Focusing on my lovely Libras. What's going on with you guys? Oh, that's a lot of cards, but look what popped out. The Knight of Cups. You focusing on yourself, your self-love, self-care, taking care of yourself. What you desire, not worrying about the past, okay? We have to keep moving forward to grow, to grow, to grow. Look at that. We have to keep moving forward. We have to move forward. We cannot sit in our regrets we cannot sit in the feels and the uh, the sadness, okay? We had to keep moving forward. That's how we maintain balance. Even in the in the storm, you have balance. 
because you're you're stepping into your power. Whether you're male or female, you're owning your emperor energy here, and you have the empress energy here. So this could be a good match for you, okay? This person coming in for a few of you could be a very good match for you. You may not see it coming, though. You may not feel it when you first meet them. You may get it like a... a I'm hearing gut reaction, knee-jerk reaction, and then it kind of fizzles, and you think, huh, oh, okay, well, that didn't last, but don't give up on that person. Don't don't just walk away from that person, because I think they're going to be worth something to you. I think they may be very good for you, I should say. Clarifying your nine of coins, you have the king of swords and the seven of, of coin. You are using your head to really set yourself free, thinking about what you want, you're setting your intentions here. Oh, no, you're clarifying your intentions here with the seven of pentacles, the seven of coins. All right, this is how you're going to gain your freedom here. You're clearly thinking about what it is you want, what you don't want. You're really, the with the king of swords, that's intelligence, using your head, keeping emotions out of it for right now, other than using... Um, your intentions to clarify your desires, okay? What is it that tempts you to get out there and try new things? What is what is the, your desire to succeed at in life or to have fun with or whatever it is? This is what you're clarifying for yourself, okay? Through thought, through writing it down, journaling, whatever. All right, you, you have decisions you have to make, and you're the only one who can make them. And as long as you stand firm in your beliefs, you will make those decision, decisions easily. See, you're about to go in a different direction from where you were. Travel again. I do hear travel for work. All right, let's see what the page of coins here is for you. Let's clarify the page of coins, please. This is a really good reading. Don't forget to claim this if this is yours. And of course, tickle, tap, or boop, B-O-O-P, that like button, if this is resonating or if you just like the message or want to support my channel. I appreciate you for doing all of those things. All right, clarification of the page of coins here, please, Spirit. Oh. And if you're interested in finding an awesome community or joining an awesome community, we have one here and we would love to have you join us. So consider subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you join us. Look at this. You just saw the Two of Wands. You just saw the Moon card. And there's the Seven of Wands. Wow. And the Two and the Seven add up to the Nine of Wands. You never gave up. You've, you're standing up for exactly what you want. You have a clear path now. Clarifying this page of coins you have, you're going to make a decision, and as soon as you do, you see exactly what direction you need to go in, okay? Um, I'm hearing it's going to be like lifting a veil of darkness, and you are finally going to be able to say, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what I want to stand up for. I know exactly what I believe in. This is awesome. So you have a decision. You are going to come to a, an, an answer here. The page of coins is, this looks really good, okay? Because I do feel that this is an offer here from somebody else. Now, this, this offer, though, you're going to feel a little bit confused about how to move forward because you're kind of like, um, I'm not really sure that this is what I'm looking for, okay? And here you are with the Seven of Wands saying, hey, let me just keep my bound, let me keep my boundaries up. Let me make sure I've got all my stuff in order here. You might feel a little defensive, uncertain. It just keeps coming through. Like, I, I keep hearing that this person may not be your typical type of person like you meet them and you're like oh yeah and then all of a sudden it kind of fizzles and you're like huh I wonder where that went I wonder where that feeling went I wonder if this is worth putting effort into 
But if you just remember your your principles, your boundaries, your ethics, your whatever, there's something here about if you remember those things and just proceed to move forward slowly, learning about this person, I'm I'm hearing it will be very good for you. It's an end to the confusion. And the sun comes out. So you've got the death card with the seven. And that's double sevens, by the way. And we know what that means. Wonderful things are about to happen for you. All right, so you're about to end the confusion here with the death card and the seven of cups. You're about to end the confusion. And here comes the clarity with the sun card. Everything is out in the open. See, here we had the moon. Now we have the sun. There could be something about duality, but I'm really feeling like it's your uncertainty becomes clear. And look at this. There's the emperor again with the page of cups. You're definitely stepping up here. You you may take things very slowly with this new person. Now, this could also just be you on knowing what path you want to take, and you're not going to let anyone take you off that path. I do hear that, okay? You've got the two of ones to the moon to the seven of ones. That tells me very clearly you've made a decision. You know what path you want to follow. It's emotional for you. There is a lot of emotion in, tied up in this. You made your decisions with a clear head, but now you're basing um, a lot of things. You've got a lot riding on this is what I'm hearing. So you're going to stand firm in your beliefs and what you want to do. Ah, that's awesome. Good for you. Good for you. All right, let's clarify this Empress energy here. What does this mean for you? We got cards all over the place not wanting to go back in. If they're meant to come out, they will. Well, too many cards. I think Spirit has a lot to say to you. Whoever is changing, whoever is moving in this direction, you've closed two different cycles here. You're, you're moving in a beautiful new direction. Do I see a card facing? Nope. Look at this, the Queen of Cups. Emotional satisfaction, happiness, joy, not, not just for yourself, but you bring it to those around you too. There's wisdom in this particular Queen of Cups because she's got all of her past relationships inside this thing here, um, inside this urn, this, I think it's called a crobium. Whatever it's called, it does not matter. Um, she's considering her past relationships and she's saying you know what right now I'm going to keep the lid on this because I'm very happy where I'm at I'm comfortable I've got my feet on the ground but I've got all this abundance around me I've got the stability security with a stone throne okay I've got more than enough water of sustenance whatever I need okay and I'm hearing she wants emotional stability I just I keep hearing Somebody say, cry me a river, like in a non-forgiving way. Like somebody is pleading with this Queen of Cups and saying, oh, come on, come on. I, I'm going to miss you so horribly. What would life be like without you? Blah, blah, blah. But this person didn't appreciate you when you were around. And you're saying, cry me a river, cry me a river. Okay. Because it's not working this time. You know who you are. You're the empress at this point. You're owning your empress energy here. You're abundant. You see. You're willing to give where it's deserved. Now, this is empress energy does not matter if you're male or female. Okay? Um, yeah. So you're willing to give where it's deserved. You're not going to overgive anymore. You're you're focusing on your love. You see what type of relationships you've been in and where you've gotten with them. Now you've got a clear path to what you want. <laughs> and you have the magician on the bottom of the deck. You have all the resor resources at your fingertips, and you know this now. Oh, boy, it wouldn't be a Libra reading without a tower. What's happening here? Okay, this goes right to your future. Balance, stability, magic, divine guidance, divine direction. You've got one foot on the ground and one foot in the water. You are grounded. Again, grounding is coming out. But this is you. Cry me a river, okay? No, I'm not listening to it anymore. No, I've got, I've had my wake-up call. 
All right, I see that I can am capable of doing everything that I need to do. I am the magician. I have all the resources, and I'm talking about you, my, my Libras, my viewers. You have all, everything that you need within you, okay? And you finally have woke up to that, and you will not be changed, okay? Because the divine is on your side saying, no, nope, your future is going to be much better without Wherever you're leaving behind, okay, with the Eight of Cups there and the Five of Coins, whatever you're leaving in the past, whatever's coming for you in the future is going to be so much better. Oh, shoot. Okay. I don't know what that was, but I shuffled. We ended up with a temperance there, balance, harmony, peace. It could be as good as the Libra card right there, okay? But I feel like there's so much more here than the Justice card. Um I do feel strongly that a lot of you are being divinely protected. You don't even know it, okay? You may not even realize that there is an energy field around you guiding you. So, like, you may have a moment where you're you're starting to think in a negative way, and all of a sudden you get this idea, this thought, and now all of a sudden you feel good again, okay? That's being divinely protected. Spirit is working in your on your behalf to help you with that. There's a seven of wands with a seven of wands, the knight of swords and the king of coins or pentacles. You keeping your boundaries, you keeping your beliefs intact, okay? You hanging on to yourself, all right? When somebody comes rushing in with all this, oh, information here, you know, you've seen it. You've seen the reality of it. This sword is pointing down. The truth has been spoken. You accept your own truth. You're not taking on anybody else's. And that helps you to find ultimate stability, peace. King of Pentacles here, King of Pentacles here. All right. Yeah. You're secure with money. You're secure in your own feelings about where you are in the world, who you are, stability. Yeah, you're fine. You're looking really good here. Absolutely love that for you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get you some oracle messages here. Talisman oracle. Okay, we can do that. All right, let's see what Spirit wants to say using the talisman oracle. This is an awesome reading. Oh, while I'm shuffling, go ahead and, if you're interested, check out the description box. There's all kinds of wonderful information in there about my channel, about the cards I use, about how to access my website, how to get on my mailing list. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of awesome information in there. So if you're interested, please feel free to check out the description box. All right, you've got Learn the Truth. Huh, somebody's speaking something and you're saying, cry me a river. You're very wise. Balanced emotions. See, you're not going to let anybody toy with you anymore. Absolutely not. Now, Spirit is asking me to refer to the book because I don't think we've had the Learn the Truth card before. We may have. Um, let's see what this says. We are human and our nature is prone to errors. But those errors are actually opportunities to grow and master new skills. Sometimes we are unable to see the truth because we compete with ourselves. Mm. Said something about competing with others. Now, other people will compete with you too, okay? Our own ego doesn't let us move forward sometimes because first, we have to acknowledge our own shortcomings. And I, I will say, yes, if you want something bad enough, you don't let other people interfere with it. You know what you have to do. And it's time to sit with the uncomfortable feelings and just admit what they are. Okay, what's your responsibility in this? I figured out what mine was when I was being competed with. Okay, it wasn't a good feeling, but I finally realized that if I want something bad enough, I'll go after it. It's okay if it doesn't feel familiar to sit with those uncomfortable feelings because progress happens only when we step away from our comfort zone. The truth can be so freeing. 
See the opportunities that weren't there when you had your eyes closed or you saw things from a different perspective. The owl in this card will be your guide through the darkness to the truth. Okay, beautiful. All right. All right, and here's a positive affirmation for you. My flaws helped me to grow, and now I see the truth. Beautiful message there. This will help you to balance out your emotions. I feel like there's something... Um, there's something about uh, gratitude here and seeing the lesson that is spirit is trying to teach us, okay? And what happens is, is because we aren't learning that lesson, we get suckered back into these relationships, situations over and over again because we haven't learned that lesson. And that's what spirit wants you to know, okay? And we do this, I mean, it's human nature. So remember to be gentle with yourself, okay? And this po positive affirmation does say, I am gentle with myself and my feelings. So don't beat yourself up because you've repeated things. Um, that's how we learn. Until we learn the actual lesson, we can't move forward. And sometimes it takes quite a few tries to get that right. We're going to get you a, another oracle message here. And then we will end up uh, finish the reading with three yes or no questions, rolling the number die. Okay, so if you don't have any questions formed yet, go ahead and pause the video. Start it back up when you do. And of course, if this message doesn't resonate with you at this time, feel free to come back in the future. It may um, resonate with you. Or stop and think for a minute because this may have already happened to you. Um, time and tarot are fluid okay so it can happen at weird at different times for everybody courage courage is the strength to stand up when it's easier to fall down to give in to cave in again and again here you're keeping your boundaries up you're keeping your belief in what you want oh beautiful confirmation there okay so it's just about having that inner courage and the strength to stand up to whatever it is you believe in okay I hear somebody, I keep hearing, cry me a river. Somebody is using that now as a mantra. <laughs> I'm going to say that the next time that they try to sucker me back in. I don't know why the word sucker. I don't usually like that term, but it's spirits using it quite heavily today. So somebody out there, if you're hearing that and that, that term, that word is something that is used in your vocabulary or in your life by someone else, you, someone else, it's a message for you. Ooh, something popped and then went right back in. So there's something here you don't see, something you don't know. Euphoria is a cosmic connection to the magic within and around you. Yeah, trusting your intuition and tapping into your knowledge, okay? And feeling good. Feeling really awesome because you found out you are capable. That's what was on the bottom of the deck was that magician. And I just saw the star card, the sun card. I don't know where that magician went, but we had the magician on the bottom of the deck. And that's what that's referring to. All right, let's get you three yes or no answers with the number die. One through five. One through five is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes. If you want to reverse those roll that that roll please roll haha -ha, roll the die <laughs> no i'm not that funny okay <laughs> oh i just snorted uh answer number one yes or no is a yes answer you got six eleven ten four twelve and eight whoo there was a lot going on there answer number two yes or no that's a no, but it looks really good for the future because you have a nine. That's a five. Okay, you got a five. That's a no answer, but that's a high end no. You got a nine, 11, and a 12. So it looks like it could be changed to a um, yes answer pretty easily with a minor change is what I'm hearing. Answer number three. 
is a nine. That is a yes answer. Now you have three, seven, and two. There's something about you coming into alignment with somebody or something because something is definitely out of balance here with that three and seven. But as soon as you get that leveled out, which, and I am getting it's between you and another person. When you get that more in a balanced energy, things are going to take off for you. Okay? So that is the yes answer. All right, my lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, Channel fans, until our energy crosses again, I wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.